In the next spectrum, again, peaks are the ones that come near 0% transmittance or 100% absorbance. Here is a strong broad peak. We would expect this to be an OH or an NH, an acidic proton. There are sp3 hybridized CHs, no carbonyl group this time, and we ignore the fingerprint region. If we look at the structure of this molecule, indeed we see it's a primary alcohol. For the next example, take a minute, stop the video, and try analyzing it for yourself. We will ignore the area under 1500 and also ignore the signal around 1600. So as the sp3 hybridized CHs, and at a slightly higher frequency, we have two signals. This type of signal is in the area where we see primary amines, an amine that has two protons on it. We're seeing two different frequencies, one frequency that re represents the symmetric stretching of the CH bonds, the other frequency that represents the asymmetric stretching of the CH bonds. If we look at the structure, indeed we have a primary amine with those sp3 hybridized CHs, lots of them, and no other functional groups. Again for this next example, stop the video and analyze the molecule on yourself. We ignore the fingerprint region again. We see a very strong distinctive signal for the carbonyl group. Just below 3000 are the sp3 hybridized CHs, the CH stretches. Notice these sharp medium intensity peaks just above 3000. These are sp2 hybridized CH groups. That makes us think about either alkenes or benzene rings. And then no other peaks that are particularly important. We ignore the peaks right near the baseline. If we look at the true molecule, indeed we have an aromatic ring, carbonyl stretch, lots of sp3 hybridized CH groups. Again, stop the video before continuing for this next example. Ignore the signals in the fingerprint region. There are the sp3 hybridized CHs, and then two other key peaks to think about. One of the only things that comes in the middle of the spectrum like this are triple bonds. The CC and CN triple bonds come here. There is some additional information as well, with this sharp peak around 3300 wave numbers. This is a pattern we see when there is a terminal triple bond present. We're seeing the CH stretching vibration of the SP hybridized CH bond and the CC triple bond. We can confirm that when we look at the true structure of the molecule. So the bottom line with infrared is that we use it to identify the key functional groups present in the molecule. Typically we can't tell exactly where they are in the molecule, but at least we can identify whether they are present or absent.